Okay, so I'm sitting here at the UPS store in Longwood. Um, apparently, they will not get my package because it's locked up in a trailer. Um, so they were supposed to deliver my package on Thursday. Uh, Thursday came and went, and then Friday came around, and I waited till about 7.30 before I left the house. They attempted to deliver my package at 7.40. Of course, I was gone. Um, I got, uh, I, I was checking my phone rather, and I realized that they had attempted to leave my package, didn't leave it, so they took my package away. I called at eight o'clock and I said, can the driver come back and deliver my package? And they said, no, but you can pick it up at the Longwood um, UPS Center at uh, between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Saturday. So I said, okay, well, I mean, if I gotta drive, you know, 25 minutes out of the way, you know, I'll do that, okay, it's fine. And I said, it'll be available. And they said, yes, the package will be available. The driver will pull it from the truck and it'll be there for you. Okay. So I show up at this Longwood UPS Center, um, request my package. Well, my package is not available. All right. Well, why isn't my package available? It's not available because it's locked up on a semi, says the, the clerk at the counter. So, all right, well, let's call somebody to get that thing unlocked so I can get my package like I was told I can get my package. They won't unlock the truck, she says. It's a security protocol. Never mind the driver, I mean, never mind the customer. It's security protocol, therefore, I can't get my package. So I said, well, let's call someone. Let's call a supervisor. She says that there is no supervisor. There's no supervisor. Well, I press. Turns out there is a supervisor, but she's not going to call the supervisor because the supervisor isn't going to be disturbed on Saturday. This is very interesting. So I don't have a package. She's not going to call anyone to help me get a package. And so UPS is like, screw you. All right. So I say, well, you know, why did the call center tell me that? Well, her response is interesting. She says she doesn't even like the call center. She doesn't have faith in the call center and she can't speak for the call center. Um, so even the own employee doesn't have any faith in the call center, um, which has caused a lot of problems. So this is the uh, second situation with UPS. The first one actually was that I ordered some books through Amazon that were supposed to be delivered last Wednesday. This is now Saturday. Um, the, the books were, by UPS's mistake, sent uh, from Jacksonville instead of coming to Orlando. They were sent out to Arkansas. Arkansas. Okay, UPS makes mistakes, no big deal. I would think they would turn it around and get those books back to me as quickly as possible. On the contrary, what they decided to do was they decided to go ahead and just leave the books in Arkansas and tell me that the delivery date is now going to be next Wednesday through next Saturday. They're giving me some four-day window, nine to, uh, uh, excuse me, seven to uh, ten days later than they were scheduled to arrive. What kind of service is that? So UPS has taken the opportunity in two situations to say, yeah, you're not really important enough for us to be concerned with. We're just going to tell you what you want to hear and just let it go at that. Now, on top of that, I called UPS uh, and about the books and asked to speak to a supervisor. Um, the woman put me on hold for 30 minutes. I finally had enough. I hung up and I called back. That woman was kind, she actually was very kind, and she did what she could to get me to the supervisor, but wasn't able to, so the supervisor is supposed to be calling me back. Yeah, that'll happen. Um, so I, the moral of the story is, is that UPS doesn't really seem to give a crap about their employees, excuse me, about their customers, and their employees don't even really seem to care that much about their um, business either, according to the woman at the counter. Um, it's really sad that, you know, I order something, UPS is sending it, and they can't seem to get it to me on time. Um, I, for one, will never use UPS for shipping, and I really hope that Amazon quits using UPS as well. Try FedEx. Try the Postal Service. Try DHL if they're still around. Um, let's get a service that's actually going to care about the customer and provide a service that the customer needs.